Hi everyone, my name is Giovanna Proença and today we're going to talk about build a city skyline of freckled camp, the part of web responsive design. So basically in this project, we're going to build this uh, page you're seeing here. It's like an image, right? It's pretty similar to what we did for the Picasso project. And it's pretty nice because we're going to learn more about HTML and CSS. How can we uh, position things, do these colors that we're seeing here and this idea, for example, that it's kind of the light. It's uh, in this gradient uh, way here. So it's pretty nice that you're going to learn more about these tricks. Okay. If you want to do this project, I highly recommend you to first start doing the previous ones. Otherwise, you won't understand the main concepts that we're going to learn in here. OK, so let's just start. The first step in here, like we always do, we have to initialize our HTML file. It's by saying a doc type HTML. And this way, we're going to say that the project is an HTML file. So this way, our browser, Google Chrome, Mozilla, Firefox, it will understand that our page is built in HTML. Now in the second step, we're going to say that the language of our code is English. So here we have to open up the HTML tag and we're going to say language. Oops, I give one extra space. Language equals to English. Great. And then we can close our HTML tag. Now we need to open up our head and our body. And remember, the head part is everything that is not visual in our code. So every link we're going to do in our project, for example, the link we're going to do with CSS file and the body is everything that is visual. So the divs, the h1, everything we saw in the image that is going to look like our page will be in the body. Now we need to add some tags inside of our head. So we're going to use this meta chart, uh, char set UTF. So here meta char set equals to UTF eight. OK, then we need to give a title. So the title in this case will be the title of the tab, not the title that will appear in the page. So every tab, if we take a look, it has a name. In this case, we're going to give the name of city skyline and we're going to link with our styles.css. So here link rel here is the relationship. So it's style sheet and then the href will tell what is the file that is going to contain the, H the CSS file. So in our case it will be styles.css. All right, great. Now we're going to start adding some things in our page. And every time we use the, the star selector, this means that we want to get everything we have in our page. So in this case, we're going to change the border. So here I'm going to say border one pixel solid black. And once we start, now we can see here this border in the whole screen, in the whole page. So now we're going to add this box sizing border box in our screen. OK, and this way we won't change the size of our elements. So here border box. And so far we can see anything and uh, not much, but soon we will. Sorry, it's for box sizing, box sizing and border box. Great. Now we're going to start working with the body. OK, so everything that is in here in our page inside of our box and we're going to uh, change the size of the height here. We're going to use let me add here the body tag. So here the height when we use 100 VH, if you remember the previous parts, this means that 100 VH is 100 percent of we have in our screen. So 100 percent of the height of our screen. So that's why we, do, we are not able anymore to scroll down much. Then we're going to add a margin zero. Now, do you see the border? It's we don't have any margin and we're going to add this overflow hidden because the overflow will remove the bars that we have in the horizontal and in the vertical. Right now we have this bar, but once we say overflow hidden, it will remove this. We don't have any more that uh, that bar in that part. Great. Now we're going to start building the components we're going to have in our HTML to do this page. So the first thing we're going to create this background buildings, all right, that will be the background of the buildings. OK, here we're going to group the buildings in this container. Div class equals to background buildings. And this is pretty much what we need right now. OK, we won't see anything because a div here without any color won't change much. But right now we're going to start adding uh, some some style for this part. So background building. And in here, remember, every time we work with class, we can manipulate that particular div that contains that class. So here we're going to change the width to 100 percent. We're going to change the height to 100 percent. And here this is pretty much what we have. But for example, how can I see if it's working? If we add the background color black in here, we will be able to see that now our background buildings is everything we have in our screen. If we change the width and the height, it would change. OK, but in this case, we don't want background color. I just want to show you how it works, basically. Now we're going to have a class bb1 in the background color in the this side of this div so we're gonna have this div class equals to bb1 and i'm gonna close the div in here and in our style we're gonna add some content in this div so basically here we need to add a dot bb1 and in here we're gonna add a width of 10 percent 
a height of 70% and I'm gonna give a color just to show you so basically here background color like we can see it will be for example black this would be our new div in here okay but I will remove this background color here because we don't need it great let's go to the next one now inside of this div we're gonna have four divs inside okay so here I'm gonna give a div class equals to bb1a and the other ones will be bb1b bb1c and bb1d so here I'm gonna copy and paste three times and I will change here the letter B, C and D and again we won't be able to see anything but soon right now we're gonna change the properties in here so for BB1A we're gonna give a width of 70% and a height of 10% and I'm gonna copy and paste three times and we just change the things so for the letter B here they're telling us to use 80% on the width and 10% on the height in BB1C they want us to use 90 and 10% and the last one they want us 100% and 70 so 100% and 70 BB1D so this is pretty much what we have we have this BB1A BB1B BB1C and BB1D that it's the other part okay so so far we're starting to manipulate here the things now we're gonna change this bb1a we're gonna put everything we're gonna change here using the display flex all right every time we're working with flex direction and align items we need to use display flex and we're gonna put everything in the middle so here display flex if we want to use flex box we did we need this the flex direction here if I'm not mistaken, we're gonna put in a row, let's see, and align items, we wanna put in the center, we're gonna use here center property. So now they are all in the center. I'm just not sure if they want us to put in a row or in a column. Yes, here it's in a column. So now we have this, everything in the center, and we're kind of creating this, we're creating this building in here, do you see? Because we have this in behind all of the other ones. So this first div is for one building only. Now in this step, they are giving us a new thing that we didn't see before. They're telling us to create a variable, to declare a variable here that will have name building color one, and we're gonna assign a value to this. And why is that? Like in any programming language, you can create variables to store value for you. And in this case, we're doing this for our CSS. So we're gonna create a variable called building, so dash dash building color one, and we're gonna assign the value hash 999. So this means that we're giving this color for this building. But in here, we're not seeing anything and we passed. So now if we wanna use this variable, we need to put the variable name in parentheses with the word var. And in front of them, we're gonna say var and the name of the variable we're creating. Whatever value you gave, in our case, hash 999, will be used in here in this property. So we're gonna add the variable building color one that we created in the previous one to use in here in our bb1a okay so here we're going to use background color and what is going on instead of doing this way all right where we paint this way we're going to use the variable that we did so we're going to use var dash dash building color one and it will paint the same way okay so you have these two ways of using the color you can store in a variable or not and now we're going to do the same for the other one so here we're going to say background color var dash dash building color one and it will change the color of all the other ones and we're gonna do this for all the buildings so let me paste in here for all the divs in this building great now we're gonna change the color so instead of 999 they're telling us to use aa80ff so now we have this different color in here okay and that's it now we're gonna work with other buildings so we're gonna create a div here called class equals to bb2 okay for the other buildings and we're gonna do this for BB3 and BB4 in this other, in this scenario, okay? BB1, BB2, BB3. And this will be the other three buildings we're gonna build. Now we're gonna start manipulating. So for the dash BB2, we're gonna have a width of 10% and a height of 50%. For the other ones, we're gonna do the same. So I'm gonna copy and paste. I will just change here to BB3 and BB4. And for BB3, we're gonna have 10 and 55. And for BB4, we're gonna have 11 and 58. Here, they are in the bottom, all right? But we're gonna put everything in a row, okay? We're gonna work with display flex, so don't worry. So we're gonna add this display flex in here, okay? We're gonna say uh, align, oops, align items, flex and to put everything in the ground, okay? Here in our page it's in the ground then we're gonna have this justify content space evenly because we want to we don't want to make them together we want to split them in our screen and we're gonna to the background buildings class to fix that and yes that's pretty much what we need in here so far in the end we're gonna change the colors and the buildings 
So we can see here they're kind of separated, so we want to make them a little bit more together like we're seeing here. We wanna, we're going to create an empty space in here, in the front and in the end. So to do this, before the BB1, we're going to add two empty divs. Okay, so here we're going to add two empty divs in the beginning. And you see that since we're using space evenly, it, it's starting to be uh, closer. And we're going to add in the end as well. So now our buildings will be centered in the middle. Okay, this is a little trick you can do. Let me see. And one div between B3 and B4. I think I added uh, in the wrong place. So between B3 and B4. And I don't think we need this two in the middle. Yes. So now we have this space. This is a little trick we can do. So now we're going to create a new variable, a new color. All right. And then we're going to set this background color in our V2. So here we can copy this one and we're going to add here background color two. And I'm going to use the number that we have 66. CC99 and we're gonna add in our B2. So in here we're gonna say background color var dash dash building color 2 and we're gonna see in here how it works. Let me see. And why is not working? Basically we have to add a fallback value to a variable by putting it as the second value of where you use the variable like this. So here we're saying building back building color 2 and our fallback will be the value green. So here we're gonna add comma green. So if our code doesn't understand what is building color 2, it will understand the green. So this way it won't make it empty like it was previously. And now we're gonna do the same for the other scenario. So here we're gonna create a new variable 3 and we're gonna give this color here of CC6699 and we're gonna do the same so here in our BB3 we're gonna use the same property we did for the BB2 and our fallback will be pink so here three and our fallback will be pink so now we see this in pink okay great so we are seeing that so far the variables that we made weren't working and the fallback that is the one that is working here and the reason why is because we are declaring these variables in our BB1 and BB1 is not uh, related with BB2 and BB3 so to fix this in the in the top of our code we're going to create a root selector and in here we're going to declare our variable so we're going to cut from here and we're going to add in our root okay and now we're able to see the actual colors we wanted to implement okay and this is something that we're going to do from now on all right now that we fixed this bug we're able to remove this uh, fallback which this is not needed anymore because it's working and then we can move on now we're gonna create a new variable for our color that will be for our last div. So here, background color four, the value will be 58, uh, actually 538CC6, and we're gonna add this variable in our BB4. So in here, in our BB4, I'm gonna copy the BB3 background color, and I'm gonna, just gonna change in here to four, and now we can see this blue. So, so far we're working with these four buildings that we have behind and now we're going to work with these buildings, these new buildings. So we're going to give a div class equals to foreground buildings. And we're going to start working with our next buildings. Okay, then in here we're going to add this building in the top. So foreground buildings. Let's change here the properties. We're going to give a width of 100% height of 100% and the position here we're gonna say absolute and top zero so this will make the same size as the body and move the start of it to the top left corner so we're gonna start from here okay because we want to put these buildings in front of the ones that we already have now in here we're gonna create buildings we're gonna create six buildings so here class fb1 and we're gonna do more six like this so let, let's copy and let's change the names And this is pretty much what we have. Great. Now we're going to start changing the width and the height for each of these. So FB1, we're going to have a width of 10 pixels. The height will be 60 pixels, 60%, sorry. And we're seeing here the first building being made. All right, now we're going to do the same for the other six. We're just going to change the value. So for FB2 here, they are telling us to use 10% and 40%. Great. And if you see here, they are in a row, in a, a column, but we're going to change this to a row. In the FB3, they want us to have 10 and 35. Okay. For FB4, they want this to be 8 and 45. For FB5, they want FB5, they want 10 and 33. So 10 and 33. And for FB6, 9 and 38. So here, 9 and 38. And this one is SFB6. So here we have our buildings. We can see all of them because they are in a column and we set the height to be the height of our of our screen. So now we're going to put in a row and we will be able to see it. So here display flex, align items 
flex end, I believe it was flex end, yes, in the, we want to put in the ground, in the floor, and justify content, they ask us to use the same as we did before, so space evenly, okay, and now they are in this way, so we are creating the other part of the buildings that we have, the buildings that will be in front. Now we're going to optimize our code, we're going to move this position and top properties and values from our, our foreground, and we're going to put in our other one, so here I'm going to cut from here, and I'm going to put in our background buildings. Sorry, we won't add them. We want to add them in both scenarios. So we remove in there. Here we're going to create, if you remember from the previous videos, we can add multiple, we can add the same property for multiple selectors by doing this, using a comma to split them. So here, foreground buildings. And we want to add position absolute and top zero. So now they all have the same properties and values. Now we don't need to add this anymore. Okay. They are telling us to remove because we already set in the previous selector. And now we're going to start creating colors for our... Uh, we're going to reuse colors for our new buildings. So basically here we're going to use the, the background color one for FB and F3. FB3 and FB4. So here background color var dash dash building color one. We're going to add in this one and in the FB3 and FB4. In our... we're going to use the color two for FB5. So here we're going to use the color two. FB5, okay. Then we're going to add the color three for FB2 and FB6. So here color three will be for FB2 and FB6. And the one that is missing, we're going to add the background color four. So here is four. And now we can see the buildings being made with different colors. Now they're telling us again to use that little trick to add empty divs, all right? So we're going to add two empty divs uh, in the top and in the bottom of this. So here, div, div. Here we're going to add two in the top because we're working with the evenly and in the bottom. And they're telling us to add one in between F2 and F3. So now we have this. And if you take a look now, the way that these buildings are, it's pretty similar to what they are in here, but with different colors. And we're going to manipulate this color soon. All right, right now we're just creating this structure. Then we're going to move the position to FB4 to be relative. All right, so here we're going to say position relative. And we're going to change the left. So we want this to be 10% of the distance of the left. So here, left, 10%. And we can see here the change of this building. All right. Sorry, the FB5, we need to do the same. So we're going to copy this in here and we're going to do the same. But instead of left, now we change here the green to left, but we want this to be in the right. So we want to put one, we want to switch places. Okay, so now it looks like they are expecting us. Now they're telling us to use some comments to make our, our code look better. So here we're going to add a comment, uh, a comment talking about this background, blah, blah, blah. Okay, because we want to say that this, this code that we're doing here, it's for the background buildings and the foreground buildings we're going to use this other message so once we finish the bbs we add in here when we're starting to have the fbs and that's pretty much what they want us to do just to add a comment it won't change our code but it's just for making our life easier <laughs> okay now we're going to create a new variable for window color one and here we're going to use black and it will be a uh, secondary color to be purple in the buildings but it will be in the future we're going to add now we're going to work with gradient so basically it, with gradient we can make this idea of not a solid color but the color changing along the way so for example here we have we're starting with gray and we're finishing with black okay if you see it's not a it's a dynamic color it's not the same it's not constant and here you can see the same so we're going to start adding this idea of gradient so in here we're going to work with bb1a we're going to add here a linear gradient so we're going to say linear gradient and this means that we're going to change the color linearly not radio so it, it's like in a line linear gradient we want the color to start at this building color one and we want to finish in the window so here window color we already saw how we can work with linear gradient or radio in the previous codes here we're just revisiting and one thing that is important instead of background color here we're using background and you see we're starting at our color purple and we finish in black that it's our window and we're gonna probably do now it more in the future like I said we're creating this idea here that we saw okay now we're gonna add the same gradient to the next two sessions so instead of doing that we're gonna create a new selector called BB1 window and change the height and background to this part so here height and the background height and background properties we're gonna add in our BB1 window so here BB1 window and we're gonna add these properties in here we don't have the BB1 window so far so we're gonna change this in the future and 
and uh, the background color should remain in the BB1. I cut more than I needed. So now we're gonna add a class BB1 window to create this idea of being gradient. So here you just give a space instead of your class and you say BB1 window and it will be sufficient. Do you see in here? We're gonna do the same for the other ones. So BB1, B and C, we're gonna have the same. Here we have the same logic and in here the same. So now we're creating this idea of changing the color linearly. We're not gonna do the BB1D because the BB1D is the whole building. Now we don't need height and background colors in BB1A, BB1B, and BB1C, so we can remove them from here. Only the height, the width you can let. And it didn't change. I think I removed the width, and I shouldn't. It's just only the height. And that's pretty much what we have in here so far. And we don't need the background color as well, like they said. We're only gonna let the width. Great. And we can see here it's not changing anything. Perfect. Let's move to the next one. Now we're gonna do the same as we did in here, but in the other way around, because if you take a look, here we're starting at black and we finish at gray. And here's the other way. Here we're starting at, we have more black and few gray, okay? So we're gonna work with creating this uh, second linear gradient. So here background, we're gonna have a linear gradient of voil. We're gonna start here with dash dash building, building color one. And we're gonna finish as var dash dash window color one. And that's pretty much what we have in here. Actually, they have the same style, right? But instead of linear gradient, they, we should use orange as the first color. Instead of building here, they're telling us to use orange. Yes. So now we can see that we have orange and we're finishing with black. And here is building color. Yes. I should have read what they have in there. And they want us to have a third color. So here, var, var window color one so here we have three colors and we can do this using linear gradient we started orange then purple and then black now it's a little hidden behind the four but you can see the three colors gradient like we saw so now we can remove the background color from here all right it's not needed anymore since we have the background using linear gradient so now we're going to continue working with this building okay and we can set how much we want for each color so we're going to add an 80 percent in the building color one okay so here we can say 80 percent Actually, I'm not sure. Let's see if I add here 80 percent. Now we have 80 percent of purple and the other ones will be less than this. And here, actually, they're telling us to put in here as well 50 percent. OK, so it will be dark in here and in the other part will be orange and we should remove orange in here. OK, so now we can see it this way. We have more about purple and less of the other ones. So here instead of 80, it will be 50. And now we can see this is split in here. Great. Now we're gonna continue working. This is pretty much what we need. We're gonna create here, we're gonna give, we're gonna create new two new divs. So here class equals to BB2A. And then we're gonna have a BB2B, okay? To make the idea of having two parts of our green test in here. Sorry, I forgot to change here to BB2B. Great. Then we're gonna change the width and the color. So here bb 2 B. We're gonna give a width of 100% and a height of 100%. And we can see in here that we're getting all the building in green. We're only not getting the top of here. And here we're gonna create a window color true. And we're gonna give this color here, they're telling us 8CD9B3. And this is pretty much. We won't be able to see because we're not using this variable, but we're gonna add in here right now. So now we're gonna continue learning more about linear gradient because here we can set where we wanna start and when we wanna stop with a color and then where we wanna start and then where we wanna stop with a second color, okay? And we're gonna do this right now. So background, they're telling us to use linear gradient. And now we're gonna split this into multiple pieces. So we want the variable building color two. We wanna start from 0%. Then we want the same variable and we want to stop at 6%, okay? Then we want to use the variable window color. So here I'm going to change to window color. We want to start at 6% and you can see here a little bit of change. And we want to stop this at 9%. So here we're going to change to 9. And this is pretty much what we're seeing in here, okay? This is how it works. Now we're going to change linear gradient to repeating linear gradient for this session. And it will make four colors of gradient that will repeat until the bottom of the element. So here if we say repeat linear gradient, we can see this little change in here. Repeating, sorry, repeating linear gradient. We can see now this happening in here. All right. Now we want to make this to be a triangle. All right. So we're going to work some tricks with borders. In here, we're going to use, we're going to remove this background color of our BB2. 
Okay, and we're gonna work with making a triangle in this part. So we're gonna add these properties to our BB2, BB2A. So here, dot BB2A, we're gonna add these properties and we're seeing this thing in here. We kind of create this because we're adding a margin. So that's why margin auto, that's why it's in the middle, this is square. We have the width, the height, and this border that they are telling us to use. And that's why we're creating this, this part in here. Now we're gonna remove the width and the height Okay, so let's see what happens. If I remove the width, it will make 100% and the height now will shrink. We want to change here the border left and we want to use 5VW, so 5% 5 of the, the view here. And in here, we want to change to 5 as well for the right. So we're seeing this pattern in here. Then we're going to change this 999 in our BB2A to transparent. So every time we have this, we're going to change to trans parent and if you see now it's the same color as the background so it right now it's white but in the future it will be the same color that we have in our background it's transparent and here we have it white again now we're going to remove the margin and the bottom bottom top border top and now we only have this triangle but it seems to not look at the same way that we we're expecting so we're going to change here the bottom bottom the border bottom to 5 vh not vw and we're going to change the color here to building color to so var dash dash building color true and now we're seeing this green triangle uh let's see now it's looking the way that we are expecting here we're going to create a window color three so now we're creating another variable here window color three d9 8cp3 we won't be able to see the color but we're going to add here in our next building that we want to work so now we're going to continue working with background and here we're going to use this repeating linear gradient but now we can set the direction we want and for direction we use the angle here at 90 degrees so we're going to say repeating linear gradient okay and i want to use the 90 degrees right now let's use here they're telling us to use the color building color three then they want us to use again bar building color three and there they are telling us to use the var, oops, var now the window. So window color three. And this is what we're seeing right now. Actually, it's not a big deal. Actually, we're, we miss here 50%. 15% and they are all in a column and now if we set here 90 degrees it would put everything in a row okay so here we can change the direction that we want to change the color all right now in here we're going to remove this background color because we're setting the background using the linear gradient so it's not needed anymore and now we're going to work with creating new three divs for our fourth building so here div class equals to bb4a and you're going to do the same more three times and change a to b c and d so here b c and d not the bbd <laughs> we're stop at bbc great and we're changing this one in here okay if i'm not mistaken now we're going to change the width and the height for the new div 3 the, we're going to add this element so that bb 4 a we're going to have in here a width of three percent and a height of ten percent and we're going to do the same for the other ones so i'm going to copy and i'm going to paste and in here in BB4B, we're gonna have here 80 and 5, great. And the other one will be 185. And that's pretty much what we have. Okay, we can see in here what is going on. And here, sorry, it's BBC. Perfect. Now we're gonna change the background color. We're gonna remove from here and we're gonna add it in the other ones. So we're gonna remove from here. We don't have background color anymore. And we're gonna insert in here. And I assume that we will probably work with the background for the other ones. And now we can see we have this extra spacing, okay, that we're not going to have anymore. So now we're going to reuse some properties we have in our BB4, in our BB1, in our BB4. But instead of copy and pasting, they're telling us to create a new class that we're going to leave it empty right now, okay. But in the future, we're going to insert new things in here. So we're just creating this building wrap right now and we're going to add the properties. So here we're going to get, we're going to move this display flex and so on from our BB1 and we're going to add in our, this uh, building wrap okay and now we're gonna share these properties with the other one so this building wrap we're gonna add in our bb1 building wrap and we're gonna do the same for our bb4 so this way we don't need to repeat ourselves saying the same things that we had in a previous class let's create a new variable name and work with background as well in the future so here we want this color 8c b3 d9 great we can see the color but we're gonna add in here so in our here 
we're gonna add a class of bb4 window bb4 window and we're gonna add a window in this building uh we should add four divs okay i made a mistake we're gonna create new four divs in here class equals true window here and we're gonna do this more three times so do here okay and we're building this part we're creating this div in here all right that's why we need four divs because it will be a four columns if you take a look for this window now we're going to change the let's create this bb4 window window and we're going to give a width of 18 percent a height of 90 percent and we can see now they are in this way and the background color we're going to set the window color for so window color four and now we have this background color but they are all in front of the other so we need to make them in the same position so we're going to create here a dot window wrap and we're going to use these properties in here that they are telling us to use and now we're going to use this window wrap in this class window wrap should change now and put them separated like we're seeing right now that's great we can see now the shape of our building the same way as the shape of this one okay we can start seeing the shape of the buildings now we're gonna work with the other buildings the buildings that are in front so far we finished the buildings that we are in the back so here we're gonna start creating this new div class equals to fb1a and we're gonna do the same things we did previously but now we're gonna build the other part so the ones that are in front okay we're almost finishing now we're working with this one and then we have to work with the other five in the fb 1b we're going to change the width so here width of 60 percent height of 10 percent and we're going to do the same for the fbc so here for sbc i want a width of 100 percent and a height of 80 so now we see this building here in blue then we're going to add this building wrap to the fb1 okay so building wrap because we want to put we want to align them in the center and we're seeing this in here great and now we're going to change the background color so we're going to change in here we're going to move this background color we're going to remove from the fb1 but we're going to add in our fb2 because this is only where we want to add now we're going to change we're going to work with the rest of the building and we're going to use the background the repeating so here background repeating the same thing as we did for this pink building here linear gradient here we want a 90 degrees we want to use first the building color four from zero percent to var building color for ten percent and we want transparent from ten percent to 15 so here for oops actually just transparent from ten percent to transparent 15 percent and this is pretty much what we need like we can see in here great so now like we can see here it's transparent behind right but they're telling us that we can add a second gradient in our in our building and we can make this look better so to do this we're gonna add a comma after the first gradient and we're gonna create our next one so repeating repeating linear gradient and in here they don't want us to use any degrees they just want to use the same thing as we did it in here the beginning and they want us to add the window color in the 10 percent so window here window color here they want us to use 10 percent to 90 and now let's see it should work building color 4 to 0 window color 4 to 90 and i think this is pretty much what we need linear gradient and we're closing in here okay so it wasn't working because i had a comma here and now we can see now we can see that we can have two uh colors in our case okay and now it looks this way now we're gonna work with border tricks so we're gonna add a border bottom in our fb1a okay so here border bottom we're gonna have 7hv solid and we're gonna use the variable building color four like we can see in here okay and they're telling us what it's missing i said vh not the hv so now we have this little thing in here okay and we're gonna change this to a triangle all right so we're gonna add a border left so border left to vw solid transparent and here we can see the left and we're gonna do the same for the we're gonna create a border right and here it will be the same properties as the other one the border left so we're gonna copy 
and paste okay so now we have the right as well and here they're telling us that we make the border for bh let's see if we change this in here it looks a little bit better but i'm not sure if we need to change to four or not it's true let's let this true okay so it's looking like the triangle that they are asking us to do and this is pretty much what we need for this second here now we're going to work with the other building okay and for this new building we're going to have a div class f b 2 a and this is kind of complicated this code all right because we're working since we're working with creating a picture it's kind of tricky to know what building we're working what are the properties all right so don't worry if you're feeling like you couldn't do this alone because this is the case they're giving us something because they already know what they should do okay f b 2 b and here they want us to have a width of 100 percent and a height of 75 percent they already know the properties that's why for them giving these steps is easy but for us it's kind of complicated we're gonna give we're gonna add three divs in here to create the windows because if you take a look in here we have these three windows that we have the same style as that one okay so here class equals to fb2 window and we're gonna do more two divs like this okay great so now we see here a little bit different and now we're going to add this window wrap in here because this window wrap if you remember we did for that particular building that is in here and now we can see these three dots but it won't be a dot anymore because we're going to change here this fb2 window to what we're expecting so here they want us to have a width of 22 percent and now we see that they change the width the height here they want 100 percent so we're going to expand the height and the color the background background color they want us to have this variable window color three okay and now it's this way and it looks like this one that we're seeing in here okay great now we're gonna move the background color property of fb2 to our fb2b so here instead of having this in here we're adding in that part okay let's see that's it and now we're gonna change the f to a because here they have this space i think or in the bottom not sure what they are trying to do so in here we're gonna add a border bottom of 10 vh solid and var building color three so they are working with the part in the top and we're gonna do now a border left we're gonna do and right of one vw solid and transparent so you're gonna copy and paste in here for the other scenarios it's because we can barely see in here but i believe it's kind of a rectangle uh, not a rectangle it's like a different property there's a kind of an angle in that part so here right great so we have we have this structure in here perfect now we're gonna work with the FB3. So we're gonna work with this building in here that it's a little bit tricky as well. So here div class, but we're almost finishing our code FB3A. And we're gonna make the FB3C. B actually, and we're gonna do again A and B, they're telling us in that order. So you're gonna copy and paste, great. And we're seeing this in here now let's change the property so fb3a will have a width of 80 percent a height of 15 percent okay and now the fb3b we're gonna change here width of 100 and height of 35 and this is pretty much what we have so far it didn't pass here because i need to change to b great so we're seeing this structure in here we're gonna change the background color we're gonna remove from here and we're gonna add in the ones that we want this new properties we made okay because if you see it's like we have a part in here another in here another in here it's not a rectangle our our building great then we're gonna add this building wrap that we made in the past to align things right and now it's aligned great and now we're gonna add some windows so we're gonna have three windows in the fb3a so div class equals to fb3a fb3 window sorry and we're gonna add twice great now we're gonna style this part so here dot fb3 window we're gonna have a width of 25 percent a height of 80 percent and a background color of var window color one and that's pretty much what we have in here right i think this is it and now we're gonna have a window wrap because we want to align things as well okay 
like we can see here, we want to do the same structure as we did for the other two buildings and this window wrap do this for us. We're probably going to change the color here. So instead of black, here we're going to add hash BB99FF and now we're going to see the actual color we want. Great. Then now we're going to work with our fourth div. So our fourth building will be this one. Okay. And this is, will be pretty simple if you think about it. So we're going to give a FB, a FB4A and FB4B in that order. And we remember to flip the location of B5 and FB4. Okay. So here div class equals to FB4A. And we're going to do the same for the other one. So FB. B. Okay, we're working with this one actually. That's why they mentioned we're gonna work with this one with some circles inside. Great. Let's work with this structure. So F before B, we're gonna have a width of a hundred percent and a height of eighty nine percent. Okay, this is what we have in here. We're gonna change the. We're gonna add this background color in that property. So we're gonna remove from here, and we're gonna add in here. All right. Nice. And in here, we're going to add one window, actually six windows, because we have six circles. And the FB4A will be the, the half triangle that we have in there. So here, div class equals to FB4 window. Right now, we're working with the bottom of our building. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And we're going to make them circles, because they're telling us to, if we remember from the image, it is they are circles. So here with 30%, height 10%, and a border radius, because here we're seeing that it's this square, we're going to use 50 border radius, 50%, and this will make rounded. Okay, great. Now we're going to make them, we're going to put them in our screen, all right? So here we're going to give this margin of 10%. Okay, now we have some space around them. Actually here, fill the windows with the second color of building. Here we, are, we need a back ground color of var building oops dash dash building color two i think this is the one and actually window background window one that is the purple oops yes this one they're expecting us to use great now let's put this display flags. Okay, they will be everything in a row, but we're gonna use this wrap to the window container and this will put side by side and push them down if they don't fit in the row. So here flex wrap, wrap, and now they are the same way that they are expecting us in here. Okay, this is looking nice, great. Now I believe we're gonna work with this triangle that we have here in the top, it's half triangle. So here we're gonna have a uh, FB, oops. So here the FB4A, we're going to have this border top of 5VH, solid, transparent. Okay, here we have this way. And now we're going to have a border left of 8VW, solid, and we're going to use the color variable. So here var, building, color, and I'm not sure which color is this one. So let's try it out. It's not this one. It's not this one. Let's see if it's the number two. No, it's the number one. And here we have this triangle that they were expecting us to add. We're going to use this repeating linear gradient in the next building in our FB5. So it's this one here in green. So instead of background, we're going to have this background repeating linear gradient. We want here that it's going to be from zero. It will be the building color here. So it will be this building color from zero to ten. So here, from 0 to 10%, and then it will be transparent from 5% to 10, transparent 10%. And we can start seeing here that it kind of disappeared because we're missing a semicolon, and we have this in here. Let's see, we didn't pass. So here it's from 0 to 5, that's why it wasn't seen. So now we have this uh, kind of cut our code. If I remove background color two from 0% to 5, okay, and now it passed. We needed to use the 0%. Now we're gonna add another repeating linear, the same thing as we did previously. So here we're gonna add another one, repeating linear gradient. And here we're gonna add a 90 degree. They are telling us to use the building color from 0 to 12. So I'm gonna copy here and I'm gonna put here from 0% to 12 and then they want us to use the building color from 12 to 44 so here i'm gonna change to window 
window and here they want us to 12 from 12 to 44 and this is pretty much how it works let's use a semicolon and we're able to see at least we should but it's not displaying anything we should see a bunch of rectangle but this is not what is going on let's see if we're missing something oh we shouldn't have this comma in here so now we can see the structure that we were expecting this is structure here of these rectangles okay and we don't need the background color for this building anymore so we can remove this background color from here and now i think we're going to work with our last building that is this pink in here in the left so now we're going to add a background property here and we're going to use this gradient so here repeating linear gradient and we're going to use 90 degrees we're going to use the building color from 0 to 10 so i'm going to add in here from 0% to 10 percent and then we want transparent from 10 percent to transparent to 30 percent okay and this is what we're seeing in here now we're going to use a secondary one to make what we're missing i think so now we're going to create here we're going to add another repeating linear gradient so i'm going to copy but now we're going to use the same except we're not going to add 90 degrees in here Let's see. And we're gonna use the window instead of transparent. So we're gonna remove this transparent and we're gonna add window. So let's change here the transparent to window. And we're gonna see the windows that we were expecting to see, window. And now it looks exactly what we have in here. Okay, that's great. So if we check our code, it's working nice now we don't need the background color anymore because we're working with the background in total this is like how it looks like and now let's see we're gonna build our buildings are done so we're gonna remove the border and apply everything in the beginning to come together so here we're gonna remove the border and then let's see we remove the border from everything that's great because now it really looks like buildings right because before it wasn't so now it's looking like buildings that's great and i think now we're gonna add a sky as a second class to our building background so our second class in here will be our div class actually we're gonna add a class not a new div so we're gonna give here class equals to sky and we're gonna make the sky right now because it's white sorry not in here i made a mistake we're gonna add a second class in this part so here is sky and we're gonna make the background to be dark in here right then to finish let's work here with sky now we're gonna work with radio gradient so it's gonna be a different uh instead of linear it will be radio okay so here background radio gradient and here we're gonna use this color ffcf33 from zero percent then ff the same color to 33 actually to 20 percent then we want to use this color fffff 66 in 21 percent of our sky now it's looking like this and to finish we want this other one bb -E -E -F -F of 100 so we have this sky in here right that it looks pretty strange but this is what they're expecting and now at the top of the sky gradient color list where we should put the direction of the gradient so we're gonna add this part in here to create what we want this will move to the start of the gradient 15 percent from the top left and we'll make the closer so basically it will make this circle look in here not in where it is in here in the center of our page it will be in the top left so here we're gonna add this in front of our radio gradient or not so we're gonna add this in here and it will change here the position for us like we were expecting we're creating this radio gradient here we're doing at day and here they're showing how it is at night okay now our media query just to finish we're gonna change here depending on this the size of our screen so here we're gonna say media max width of 1000 pixels and we want this to have an effect of we're going to change depending on the size of the screen if we shrink or expand we want to do some changes in here okay so if our screen it's not that big we're going to copy and paste the whole sky class along its properties so here we're going to need to scroll and paste the edit pool register of this part so basically what they want us to do in here right now depending on the screen if our screen is uh it's less than 100 uh, 1000 pixels we're gonna convert this into night if it's expanded it's gonna be day okay so here we're gonna copy all the properties we have in our sky and we're gonna change in the next part to be night okay so here we're gonna change the two ffh to hash ccc so here we're gonna change to ccc here we're gonna change to 445 and here it's gonna be 223 
So basically we're changing. If it's if this is this size, it's gonna be night. And if we expand, it's gonna be day. Okay, this is pretty nice actually. We didn't see this when we were working with this screen, right? We weren't able to see this happening. So that's good. Now we're gonna our root. We will redefine all four buildings to the variable of zero zero there. Okay, so here inside of our media, if our screen it's not that big, we're gonna use these colors that we're seeing here. Okay, so our building color one will be hash zero zero oops hash zero zero and we're gonna change this for all the colors so one two three and four so if it's night we're gonna change everything to black it won't be colorful anymore and the window we're gonna do the same that's good so here the window every time we have building i'm gonna switch this to window and here instead of zero i'm gonna change this to seven 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 and now it looks exactly what we saw, right? So we have the night and the, the day. And like we can see, we finished our code. So this is pretty much what we have, okay? When it's uh, when our screen is less than 1000 pixels, it looks like what we saw previously, this night mode. And if we expand, we can see the, dark, the, the day mode and it looks pretty nice, right? This is a complicated project because we have a lot of things to work, but it's pretty good because you can see how, how powerful CSS is when you're working with your website, okay? So if you enjoyed this content, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye. If you would like to have full support from Programming Expert via Telegram group and group coaching, check the description below.